Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. Sorry about the fan, um, it's summer so have to have the fan on so hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. Um, so today we are doing a reading, it's going to be third party situation, what's going to happen and maybe some advice for you. Um, the cards that we're using today, we're using one card from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck. We're using three cards from the Zombie Tarot. And then we're using a couple cards from the Gilded deck. So the icons that you have to choose from today, the first reading is going to be the Gold Glittery Heart. The second reading is going to be the Unicorn. And the third reading is going to be the Teddy Bear Holding a Heart. So... Before we get started with the reading, I want to let you guys know, if you haven't got a chance yet, head on over to my community page and make sure you've subscribed to my channel and I'm giving away a free reading right now. So if you subscribe, go over to my community page and comment over there. Um, I will sign you up. So I'm going to, it's going to be about a, another week until I draw the name of the winner, um, but make sure you get entered in that. All you need to do is subscribe. So without further ado, let's get to the reading. So I'm just going to give you a minute to focus on which reading you're drawn towards and then we will see what's going to happen in this third party situation and maybe some advice for you. Okay, so if you chose the first reading, the gold glittery heart, let's see your cards. You've got the page of wands. You've got the knight of wands. You've got the ten of wands. You've got the four of cups. You've got the four of hazards. And you've got Familiar Guardian. Nice. Okay, so let's move these over a little bit for you guys. Okay, so that looks better. So what's going to be happening in this third party situation? Well, it seems like it's a little bit difficult or it has been a little bit difficult. It's a burden. Um, it just feels like Maybe there's just too much juggling going on, you know, the way he's juggling all these bones here. So I think there's too much juggling going on. It's leaving, you know, this situation exhausted, you know, feeling overwhelmed. Um, but this cycle is ending because tens are all about um, cycles, you know, and the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So, I really do think that this is headed in a, a new direction. <laughs> I'm not going to say necessarily a better direction. Um, I think that both of you guys here are feeling a little bit like this is just not satisfying me. This is just not what I wanted. Um, so it could be you feeling that way, like you're not satisfied in the situation. It could be the other person just feeling a lot of responsibility. Um, but I think that you need to, what you need to do is think about other people out there. Um, don't just put all your eggs in that one basket is what I'm getting because it's going to leave you feeling weary. It's going to leave you feeling dissatisfied to stay in that type of situation. Um, and if you tell this person, I think if you tell this person that you're just, just dissatisfied, you know, you're looking for something different, it's going to be even harder for this person. Um, they're just not going to want to hear it. This person, they could be a little bit selfish. They could be a little bit possessive. And if you tell them that you're not rolling with this anymore, then I think that they're going to be um, 
very upset about it. I think that this person needs to figure out how to change things um, so that this can move forward. So if they're in this relationship, I feel like they're tired of it. Um, they need to change something and it's, you know, there's new possibilities. If this person would just listen and make a change. Um, so this person really could have a lot of passion for you. I feel like with the Knight of Wands here, definitely they feel passion towards you. But as far as them, they're kind of stuck in their ways and they don't like to listen to um, change. They don't like to um, open up. So this person could be um, just a person who is just stuck in their ways. They're very selfish. They could be a hoarder. They could be very possessive. And they're just not ready to fully give themselves to you. So it could be this like a passion thing. They have energy towards you, but mostly it's just exciting, you know, passionate connection. Um, and we've got the page of wands too. So, you know, that card is also about passion, but it can be about growth, you know, in this particular deck um, with the oranges here, I feel like this person, their passion is really next level, okay? Because we've got two, the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. So this person really do, they have a lot of passion for you. Um, if they can get the courage up to, you know, maybe change some of their ways, get out of a rut, you know, it's like they're just stuck and everybody knows it. Everybody's like, come on, just wake up, you know, listen to advice. So it could be their friends are trying to give them advice and they're just not listening to it is what I'm feeling like. But this person definitely does want growth with you. They do feel a strong passion for you. So if you think if you were to maybe look around for other options, then this person, they would that would probably scare them. They would maybe um, be willing to listen to change things because it's really not working. Whatever they're doing, it just doesn't seem like it's working. It's boring, nothing's changing. It's just like stuck in a rut. Um, and we've got the familiar card. So this is about um, our familiars. So these are our pets, the ones that live with us our companions, so it doesn't have to be a cat. Whatever you have, this um, is telling you that maybe um, the help is on the way. It could be there's assistance that is coming in for you um, if you've been feeling stressed or something like that. It could be that your spirit animal guide is coming in and is gonna assist you in this situation, so um, you could have a bond, you know, with an animal, or you could be seeing animals around you. These animals could be sending you messages, so you can always look up the meaning of these animals. So if you don't have a familiar, then it could just signify that you're seeing animals, you know, maybe a cat hanging around out back, or a bird, you know, sitting on your windowsill things like that like these are animals that could be trying to send you messages um or you know your maybe your cat is you know meowing at you and it's like why are you doing this what are you trying to tell me well i think they're trying to help you your spirit animals your guardians you know your companion they're there to help you protect you and just know that you're never alone, okay? You're never alone. If you're going through a struggle, um, go snuggle with your cat, I guess, is what this is saying. But as far as the situation, um, I think this person does want growth. They do have passion for you. If they can have the courage to um, move out of something stale, something that's no longer working, um, it could be divorce, it could be um, separation, it could be, um, 
you know, just breaking up, but I feel like this person, whatever situation they're in, it's kind of run its course and it's just a matter of them actually, um, just leaving, you know, cause it is a burden. I feel like it's a heavy burden on this person and they just feel kind of stuck and, but unable to change, unable to bend, um, really stuck on security, really stuck on, you know, oh, this is my protection, this is my happy place, you know. So they could be stuck in a home with someone and it's just like, oh, well, I can't leave all my stuff's here, you know. I can't leave, this is where my stuff is. So this person really needs to reassess what's really important to them and then make the moves to change the things that are burdening them, that are leaving them stressed, that are making them feel like heavy, you know, um, oppressed is what I'm getting here. So that's what I have for you. If you pick number one, if you would like a personal reading, check out my Etsy. The link is below. I have many different types of readings over there and uh, I would love to do one for you. Okay, so if you chose the unicorn, let's see in your third party situation, what's gonna happen, maybe some advice. You've got the star. You've got the 10 of wands. You've got the two of swords. You've got the world. You've got the Queen of Cups. And you've got Hex Banishment. Wow. That is a powerful card. Powerfully negative. <laughs> okay, so. What I'm getting here with this particular situation that you found yourself in is that this person, um, they do see you as their happy ending. I mean, I know that the world card in this particular deck is about the world going up in flames, you know, um, but these two lovers down there have safely made it to the fallout shelter. And so although the world is going up in flames, these two lovers feel safe, they feel happy, um, they feel like they've completed a stage and they're ready to start their life together so as soon as you know this all burns out or whatever they're gonna come out and they're gonna start their new life together so I feel like this person does see you in their future they definitely do see a future with you but they could feel as if their world is up in flames right now and um, everything around them it could feel like their world is crashing down around them and this person could feel a lot of responsibility um you know if they put you in this third party situation they want to be with you but yet they feel like they have to do it in a hidden place a secret away from other people is what i'm getting here with the fallout shelter um this person it could be difficult decisions that they have to make or they could be stuck in indecision as to you know where do I move from here what should I say um, they could be procrastinating about you know moving forward with you um, because he's got the blindfold on so it's like they could you know just be waiting too long you know they're just holding back and although they want to spend their forever with you they're just waiting, holding back, you know, not making a decision. So they're stuck in this stalemate is what I'm feeling, but they really do want to be with you. This person, um, they see they're forever with you. Um, they see you as this queen of cups. If you're the feminine, they see you as devoted. They see you as nurturing, playful, beautiful, um, you know, just a person who is really good at giving advice, a person who um, 
has psychic abilities, someone who is just an overall really sweet person, sensitive, kind, caring person. So they see you as that person. And for them, it's like having to make this decision. It's a heavy burden. Um, they're feeling like, how am I going to do this? You know, this is like an uphill battle. Um, how am I going to do this? You know, I'm struggling and I feel like I just, I'm going to drop this. I'm just going to quit. I'm exhausted. I feel overwhelmed and I just want things to move forward. I just want things to change. So I, I do feel like this person is kind of stuck in the situation and they just don't know how to get out, but they still really, really are attracted to you, really see you as a kind, loving, you know, beautiful person, very sensitive, feminine, maternal type person. And this person, they really, um, they want to keep their faith. They want to be optimistic that things will actually work out with you. Um, they want to keep the peace with you and they think that you're a healer. They really see you as someone who can spiritually um, heal. You, Your third eye is open. Their third eye could be really blocked right now or if they're just waking up to this um, like karmic uh, versus soulmate versus twin flame, you know, it could they could just be waking up to that and they're like um, trying to figure out now how to get you know to with you it, it could feel like their world is up in flames you know literally like how am I gonna get to her when everything around me is screwed up so this person could really feel like their life is just really screwed up right now um, I feel like this person they could be stuck in a relationship with someone who is just not good and it's really time to walk away so this person could be jealous this person could be really negative this person could really be draining on your person and they could be left emotionally you know really feeling weak and I feel like this person they're fearful they could be feel, feeling fearful of leaving if they're in a connection they could feel like oh no I'm gonna get hurt if I move forward in the situation so they really could feel like there's too many negative life forces around them and they're really fearful it could be a lot of negative people people that um, are enemies you know enemies lurking in the shadows um, they really could need to banish a lot of people in their lives, a lot of people that w wish negative things to happen to them. So this person could be suffering in whatever situation they're in, they could really could be suffering and feeling like they have to choose better friends, you know, choose better friends. And I think they see you as like the better friend, the better person. So just be kind to this person I think is the advice because this person I feel like there's a lot of people around them that are preventing them from moving forward to you um, they really do want to be with you they really do love being around you I think they feel like you're healing them from any you know negative situation that they're, they've been through and I think they are still suffering from the ill effects of that connection um, it could be emotionally, mentally, this person has really broke them down and they see you as someone who could heal them, make them feel better and, you know, I, I feel like if they can get out of this, if they can get out of this, take a stand and be like, no more, I am not taking this anymore, I'm sick of your shit and I'm leaving. You know, so if they could offer you an emotional new start and let go of their past, um, because I feel like it's no good anyways, you know, whatever it is, it's not good. Like it's strongly negative, this person. So they need to say no more. They need to say no and do what makes them happy. That's what I'm getting here, definitely. So that's what I have for you if you pick number two. If you would like a personal reading, then um, check out my link to my Etsy below. I have a lot of different readings over there and I would love to do a reading for you.
Okay, and last but not least, if you pick the teddy bear holding a heart, let's see, in your third party situation, what will happen and advice? Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, The Devil, ooh. The Page of Cups, The Eight of Wands, and The Watchtower of the West, Autumn. Okay. So I don't know why, but I set this up a little bit differently than the other ones. So we're just going to go with that. So definitely this person, I feel like there's some negative things around this situation is what I'm getting um, with the devil card here. I think that... Um, Whatever this person is dealing with, I feel like it's just not healthy. Um, I think this person could have a drinking problem, smoking too much. Um, this person, they could really be excessive right now. It's like this person, they really, you know, they have temptation to evil. This person is self-destructive to themselves. And I feel like they blame the world for everything that's going bad in their life. They feel like they're just, everything's going wrong for them. And they're, they're not even trying to get back, you know, in the right. This person is just, you know, escaping. They're into escapism. So they could be drinking a lot, having too many smokes or smoking marijuana um, too much or it could be that this person they're just trying to make themselves feel better but they're self self-destructive definitely they're self-destructive to themselves right now um, and it's over this decision you know this decision is driving them nuts this decision is got them really looking to the future and they want success and they want success with you you know, they really see you as a sexy person, a person that is just beautiful, is very, you know, attracts a lot of people. A lot of people think, um, you know, what is it about this person? You know, I this, this person, I feel like they're just, um, I want to move towards them so fast is what I'm getting here. It's like, Oh, this person I recognize they're beautiful I recognize that they're aggressive I recognize their passion their power and boys am I turned on by them so this person they really they're at a crossroads you know I mean this is a third party situation so yeah they have a decision to make but they really really are attracted to you but now it's like they're just self-destructive they're not ready to make that decision they're just you know why are they doing this? Why are they whatever it is that's negative? Why don't they just stop? But I feel like they would just rather, you know, stay stuck in this, um, trapped in this material world or whatever it is. So it could be just too much stuff or, you know, I do see this little hand down here like smoking so I really do feel like this person there's something in excess that this person is doing that's just not good for them it's too much you know things are good in moderation but this person they're going overboard with whatever it is so I'm not I'm not knocking you smokers out there definitely I'm just saying this person is excessive about it and with the eight of wands this person I feel like um I feel like they're not in the power seat like whoever they're with is the one that is the one that's in charge and so they just follow lead they just follow along and they just roll with the punches and it's like when are they gonna speak when it's like they've lost their tongue you know it's like they can't stand up for themselves um, although they do want to move towards you, they enjoy being with you, they just can't take charge. They're just a follower. They are a follower. They're not a leader. They want to be, but look at them. Does this look like a leader? 
it's whoever they're with is the one that's the leader and so this person they have a hard time they really have a hard time um, being a boss in their in their life so they'd rather have someone else I guess boss them around which I don't that doesn't make sense to me be the boss of your own life so this person they just don't feel like they can do it they just feel like they're they have no control they just don't feel like they have control it's kind of sad but I do see this person they really love you so much they get warm fuzzy feeling when you are around them um, this person they have been keeping an eye on you um, because this talks about someone lurking around behind a bush so yeah this person has been keeping an eye on you they definitely find you very attractive and they haven't they remember everything about you if you guys have been together they have not forgotten you they just um, they're obsessed with you you know you bring them joy you give them those warm fuzzy feelings but like I said they just they're not taking the lead in their life so whoever with they're with I feel like is very overbearing um, very like just in the driver's seat you know look at this woman it's like don't mess with her because she'll take you out so I do feel like they're in a controlling relationship that could be why the tower I mean the devil card is here as well is because this person they're just being controlled um, but with the watchtower of the West this could mean that something's gonna be happening in the fall um, it could be that this person um, once they get some cleansing this person it could be their emotions are just kind of out of control right now this person they could be very very emotional and they're sensitive they're sensitive I feel like they're just they're working on their peace they need time um, they need to feel better about themselves it could be they're just losing sleep right now and they need to heal themselves on a lot of different levels um, their emotions and I feel like enhance their psychic abilities so it will connect with their emotions and so they can see what's really good for them and proceed so it could be you know like I said in the fall um, in the autumn when this person will be healed um, they will feel more peaceful and this person I feel like they fell for you but they unfortunately were already in a connection and they they're not in charge of that connection this is a person that um, is possessive of them is maybe very protective of this connection and so they don't feel like they can get away is what I'm getting here so kind of unfortunate but if you can wait um, but I'm not encouraging that you know I if this person is with somebody else then your connection is challenging it's not stable it's not you know something that you can trust it's not dependable so I encourage you to look you know it could be that you need to work on your healing as well and when it comes towards autumn you'll be feeling a lot better and um, maybe you won't be attracted to these type of connections um, where you're always you know this person's always having to choose but I really think that if they had the choice they would definitely choose you but they could just feel like they don't they're being oppressed is what I'm feeling so that's what I have for you if you pick number three thank you so much for coming hopefully this helped you in some way um, if you would like a personal reading, then check out the link below to my Etsy. I would love to do a reading for you. And don't forget, I'm giving away a free reading. So make sure to subscribe and head on over to my community page. But I will talk to you guys again very soon. Sending you love, light, and blessings. Bye-bye.